hi, it's Living the Good Life, and I have another garage and, a, and estate sale finds video for Friday, September 30th. And I want to go ahead and show you some of the things that I found. The first thing I did was uh, la the Sunday before September 30th, I went out. There's usually about five to six garage sales that are holdovers from Saturday. And I'm sometimes able to find some nice things still at good prices because people are ready to get rid of it. I went to this garage sale. It was not going on. But everything that did not sell on Saturday was piled at the edge of their property where the garbage men pick up. Uh, there was original artwork, um, there was a shark uh, steam cleaner, there was tubs, there was a chair, there was glassware. I just kind of went through everything and picked up some things. Um, the one thing I got here I'm showing you is this silver plated uh, cake stand. Um, it has this pattern. Anybody who knows glass may be able to tell me what that is. Um, I also got this Indiana glass oval bowl in the avocado green. Not my favorite color, but it was free. <laughs> um, along with that, uh, I got a print um, that's from my nationally recognized artist, and hopefully I'll go ahead and get those out for y'all soon. So, and I picked up a few more useful items. The next thing I want to talk about is an estate sale that I went to on Friday the 30th. It was already 50% off day. I had looked at the pictures previously. It didn't look like it was going to be very much of a uh, estate sale, and boy was I wrong. They obviously, either I didn't look at the pictures very well or um, they didn't take very good pictures because there was lots of really good stuff. And here is what I got. I'm going to show you the things I got off for half price. Uh, and that is this green depression glass footed compote with the gold around the edges. That was three dollars. I got this Edward the Eighth coronation commemorative plate. Let me go ahead and show you the back on it. It says May 12th, 1937. Here is the maker. Grinley, England. The interesting thing is, is this is the, the king that abdicated and married Mrs. Simpson. So he was never crowned. He was king, but he was never crowned. They went uh, forward with the coronation ceremony and Queen Elizabeth's father, King George, was crowned along with Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother. So that was two dollars and I was just thrilled to add that to my commemorative um, collection. I also got this and this is a piece of Jefferson, um, from the Jefferson Company. It's a shell and dots pattern from 1905. It also comes in green and in blue. And on eBay sold listings, about 10 to $15. I got it for four. And the reason it's shell and dots is it's got the shell. And then here on the base, there are dots. And I thought that was really nice. I'm looking to see what else I got for half price, but um, I think that's about the limit of the things that I got for half price. Then I went back at three o'clock and what this company was doing is you walked in, they had a bowl, you took, pulled out a slip of paper and it told you what your percentage discount was for the last hour of the sale. It was anywhere from 60, 65, 70, 75. I was very fortunate. I got the 75% off. So with that, I got this piece of pink depression glass, divided dish. It was $1.50. I got this Kanawha, West Virginia piece of hand-blown glass. There's the Pontal. It was a dollar, and these were going, I think, anywhere from 10, around $10 or so on eBay. I got this bud vase, and it has a sterling silver weighted bottom and it's Duchenne, D-U-C-H-I-N. It's from the 1950s and the completed listings on eBay for that one are about $15 to $20. So I thought that was pretty nice for um, $1.50. I got this piece of candle wick um, and I don't know where the price tag went but I think it was a dollar. <laughs> it wasn't very much at all. Um, and I can't remember what I saw on eBay for this, but it was very little. I don't think there's too many people uh, buying candle wick anymore. But I like this little divided relish. I got this. I Help me somebody remind me what this is. But it's opalescent 
and I don't know if this is Fire King, but there's no mark on the bottom, and it was 50 cents. I did get this Fire King bowl, and it was 25 cents. I got this other piece of pink depression glass with all of the concentric circles for a dollar, and this one's going for eight dollars on eBay sold listings. Um, I also got this uh, vintage jewelry box. I would imagine it's from the 30s or 40s. Sat in line. I wish it would have had the jewelry store. Usually it has it there. It was 50 cents, so I thought I'd put some of my jewelry in there. Um, then I want to show you a couple of thrift store items. I got this uh, at a Goodwill, and these are sterling silver. I can't remember where they're made. I think it's Thailand, but I can't remember. These were a dollar uh, forty-nine plus tax. Uh, then at a garage sale, I did luck upon a woman who um, had some sterling for sale, and she said, "Oh, this is some jewelry that was made by my uncle." When I got home. I realized there was a name on it and it says Lee Bennett. He is a nationally recognized jewelry maker, mainly with a lot of Navajo stuff, but some other as well. And so this is a piece of sterling. It's, it's fairly substantial in size. So that is pretty. I can't wait to wear that. Um, so that was part of the $10. Uh, and then this special friend pendant, it is James Avery. There's a signature down here. And then the ring and I can't really see the ring mark but um, it looks like it's it's sterling uh, there shouldn't be any problem with that so ten dollars for those three hope you enjoyed all of that I am going to come back with another video to show all my Pyrex finds because I hit the thrift store and this same estate sale and found Pyrex for very cheap prices so can't wait to show you all if you enjoyed the video I would love to get a comment from you and if you're not already a subscriber and you like this type of thing I'd love to get your subscription thank you bye bye